Hi, I'm David. Welcome to the Wildlife in Focus series of Bird Identification Guides. The British Isles are home to three types of swans. Mute swan, Buick swan, and Hooper swan. The mute swan is a permanent resident and is relatively easy to identify. Every winter, they are joined by upwards of 30,000 Hooper swans and 7,000 Buick swans arriving from the north to escape the harsher winters. In this guide, we will show you how to tell the difference between all three of these beautiful birds. The mute swan is the largest of the three birds, growing up to 1.5 metres in length, with a wingspan of 2.2 metres and weighing up to 11.5 kilograms. At the other end of the scale, the Buick swan grows up to 1.2 metres in length with a wingspan of 1.9 metres and a weight of up to 7 kilograms. The Hooper swan is somewhat similar to the mute swan, growing up to 1.5 metres in length, with a wingspan of up to 2.3 metres and weighing up to 9.3 kilograms. This information doesn't help with identifying the bird species though, unless you happen to see them all side by side. Therefore, it is better to look for other clues. Both the Hooper, Swan and Buick's Swan have black and yellow bills, so if the bird you are looking at has a black and orange bill, then it's a mute swan. Additionally, the mute swan has a distinctive bulbous protrusion, called a basal knob at the top of its bill. In much of Europe, the mute swan is called a knob swan for this very reason. If you have asserted that the swan you are looking at has a black and yellow bill, you need to take a closer look at the patterning of the yellow. The yellow on the Buick swan tends to only extend down to the nostrils. Also, the shape of the yellow tends to end more bluntly at the nostrils. On the other hand, the yellow on the Hooper swan's bill tends to extend past the nostrils and is a more pointed or wedged shape pattern. Note also that the Buick swan tends to have some yellow markings at the base of the bill though this can be difficult to distinguish, especially if the bird you are looking at is some distance away. The Hooper swan's bill is also somewhat flatter and less curved than the Buick swan, although this is often not a reliable distinguisher if you are in the field. Another way to differentiate between the Buick swan and the Hooper is by taking a closer look at the shape of their heads. The Buick swan head shape is much shorter and rounder than either the Hooper swan or the mute swan, so much so that they almost look like large geese as opposed to swans. The Buick's neck is often held much straighter, giving them a less relaxed look compared to either the Hooper swans or mute swans, which tend to hold their necks in a more rounded shape. Both the Hooper and Buick swans frequently occur in large numbers, and are often seen feeding on land as opposed to water which the mute swan favours. The exception to this is some of the large wetland sites in the UK, where all three species of swans can be seen in the water. The signets of mute swans start fluffy grey and then gradually turn more dappled brown in colour, whereas the signets of Buicks and Hooper swans tend to be more uniformly smoky grey without any other patterning. This is obviously not useful if you are trying to distinguish whether you are looking at a Hooper or Buick swan, in which case it is usually better to keep an eye out for the cygnet's parents. Both Buicks and Hooper swans have graceful, bugling honks, with Hooper swans adopting a slightly deeper tone. Mute swans, contrary to their name, are quite vocal and spend much of their time communicating with coarse grunts. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this, it really helps the channel.